Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for October 16th through the 31st, 2021. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your comments, your likes, your subscribes. I love how active you guys are on the videos. It truly makes me so happy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. Um, you can read about the benefits on the web link below. Um, the testimonials page, and I do offer a 15% discount for your very first uh, distance energy healing session with me. Also, if you'd like a personal reading, the link uh, is below for the options available for you with that. So I think that's it for Shop Talk. We are going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for October 16th through... Uh, the 31st, 2021. I'm just going to pull a card and get the overall energy for your reading, and then we'll get the rest of the cards out. Okay, Virgo, I love it. You've got Dove Spirit. Be peace. All right, that immediately makes me think that you're getting to a place within yourself where you're content, you're happy, and you're able to bring that peace through for others just in your being. Uh, which is really beautiful. So let's see what else the messages have for you. All right, Virgo, cards are out. First up, we've got Nine of Wands, the Star card, and Queen of Wands. The message that I immediately felt for you guys is there is something healing within you uh, from the past. Something has happened in your past that caused you to be a little bit guarded, a little bit protective of maybe the heart of um, certain parts of yourself, but that is being healed. I feel this star card is really bringing you balance in body, mind, and spirit, and it's allowing the space for the healing, for the rejuvenation to take to take place so that the more feminine flowing and receiving energy can really come through for you. So this is really beautiful because I feel even though you're not putting effort and energy maybe into healing, it is naturally happening for you because of um, the movement of the planets and the evolution of your soul. It's like naturally happening, this healing. And that could be why the dove spirit is coming through so much of be at peace. It's really helping you to bring through that inner peace and letting go of anything on the inside that makes you feel this way, kind of beat up, battered, not wanting to, um, you know, go through something difficult or challenging like this again. Uh, you could be dealing with, with an Aquarius or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Next up, I've got Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and King of Pentacles. This is interesting, Virgo. I'm really feeling your energy on this King of Pentacles. And the fact that the King is has the back to this Queen of Cups um, in regards to love and a relationship, I feel like you've maybe looked the other way or you've turned your head the other way or you're not um, wanting to focus so much on love right now. But I'm also getting that the person you're dealing with, this Queen of Cups, they also may be focused on their own independence, their own happiness, etc. because they are really facing this Nine of Pentacles energy, which is about you know, being independent and self-sufficient and in a happy, abundant place on their own. So maybe the two of you, I do see that there is still a connection here, very much so, but the relationship is not a 100% focus on both parties. So there are other things in your life and other things in their life that has their attention right now and has your attention. So I'm going to say that again. I feel the connection is still very much there between the two of you, but there are other distractions in each of your lives that are pulling you kind of away from focusing on the relationship right now. Okay, um, part of it can be getting to that healthy individual place within each of you. Yes, okay, next up we've got six of wands, three of wands, and seven of wands. A lot of fire energy in this reading. 
So six of wands is really bringing like a celebration, like hard work paying off. So if the relationship has been put a little bit on the back burner, there have been distractions from the relationship, I feel those rough patches are going to smooth out and you're going to be in a place where you feel better. You feel um, like the difficulties that you've been through were worth it. The hard work that you've put in has um, paid off. And it's going to give you more opportunities here within this relationship, Virgo. So again, whoever you're dealing with, I some of you may not have even been uh, come to a full commitment where you've had the conversation, you've both made the commitment. I kind of see this more as um, it hasn't gotten to that serious level yet. The connection is still there, but there's other things in the way. There's other things in the way right now. And the three of wands here are some of those options and opportunities. So the focus could be somewhere else on work. It could be somewhere else on family, etc. Um, but for whatever reason, I feel that's kind of important right now. And the more that you can let go of your inner resistance, Virgo, if that is the case, the easier this is going to be for you. Because the more you resist, the harder it is for the lesson to come through, the harder it is for the shift in energy. And it could be also why you're being asked to be peace. You know, peace is very much about the present moment, being in the present moment. So if there's resistance or there's fear of the past or getting hurt again, that's not being in the present moment. So there's a lesson there for you around that. Um, but either way, I, I see both of you who are in this, you know, partnership, you've met each other, exploring whatever you and your specific person are, you both have outside distractions right now in regards to love. So, you know, stick with the commitment or the exploration of what this is, because I do feel like it will iron out. Um, again, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a lot of fire energy, so a Leo, Leo Sagittarius, or Aries coming through here. Um, might be another Earth sign, so if it's not another Virgo, it could be a Taurus or a Capricorn as well. Woo. All right, Virgo, your other message is Guardian Angel. So kind of what I was feeling earlier, that this needs to happen. What you're going through is important right now and it needs to happen. It's part of the lesson. So know that you're being guided. The more you can be at peace and in that present moment, the easier the messages can come through for you from spirit, from your higher knowing, etc. And, you know, just keeping focused on balance and body, mind, and spirit is also going to really be helpful for you. Okay. Let me get you a spirit animal message and we'll wrap up the reading. Ooh, Virgo, I love it. You've got personal choice. It's actually not a spirit animal. Close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? embrace these qualities. I love this because the star card is about getting balanced in your body, mind, and spirit. And this is asking you to connect within uh, and honor what it is that you see as far as a spirit animal or an inner message for you. So nobody can tell you the answer right now, Virgo. You've got to search within for that clarity. I love that. I hope this resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or any other placement of Virgo. Um, thank you for the messages below the video. I do love reading your messages as well as the new subscribers and the likes. Um, I just love how active you guys are on the videos. If you missed the intro, uh, the link below gives you options for a personal tarot reading if you would like a personal reading. Uh, also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Um, again, the link is below. It will take you to my website where all the information is there for you. You can read about the benefits. Definitely take advantage. I do offer 15% discount off your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Uh, other than that, Virgo, I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of October, and I'll see you back here for the first half of November readings. Take care.